G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Um, this is uh, my KDE Neon install. Um, this is day two. Didn't get much look at it yesterday. Was going to upload a little bit of uh, my tweaking of the desktop, but uh, KDE is just so busy and uh, got so much uh, tweaks involved. It just took me a while to sort of get my head back around it all. I, I did sort of work it out earlier in the year, but you know, that was like a couple of months ago. Um, so what I've got going on here, I just want to take you through how I've set up the desktop. So we go to system settings and what I've done here, if we go to, if we open up Dolphin File Manager, we if we right click on that, on one of these you will see the blur effect taking place there so there's a nice little blur effect happening there um, I've got some blur on my uh, on my menu as well and also blur on the right click probably not as outstanding here because of the darkness there so if it's a bit dark you don't really see it too much um, I've got blur on the panel as you can see and I'll show you how I did that so in the settings under application style I think it is your widget style must be on breeze and you've got to hit configure and you've got to lower your transparency which is what does if I click OK on that and apply then this will be more transparent as you can probably see and maybe even now the menu won't be just this right click here I'm not sure about the uh, dolphin one because there's two different types of transparency in here alright so not transparency, it's blur effect. What am I talking transparency? Okay, so so that um, you got the blur effect there, and if you go into also uh, desktop behavior and desktop effects, and you got the blur here, and then you got the blur strength. So if I put that up like that. I think I'll actually set the defaults and apply that and I get confused between transparency and um, and blur so you've got a bit of blur going on there And not much happening there so I'm just trying to remember which one was which let me check it out um, let's close that for a minute so the blue one blurs the background behind semi-transparent windows so I think that's that one there so if we drop that down let's just see what effect that has on things see that's almost see-through well it pretty much is so if we if we move that up then it will be if I right I'm right clicking on there so you can sort of see it's more opaque you can't really see through it too much uh, set to defaults and apply that now we've got a bit more blur going on I believe okay so that's one blur you can do there and then under application style 
and configure and the transparency there. I believe if we put that up to there, then we go back to Dolphin and right click. Then you can see that uh, there's no blur effect going on there whatsoever. So that definitely um, in the GT, uh, in the, where is it? The widget style, that's where you can sort your blur out. Drop that down. Okay, and apply. And there's your blur. Okay. Well, it's transparency and blur, isn't it, really, at the end of the day? All right, so that's what I've done there. Um, the other things I've done is if we go into, um, let's see, workspace theme, or is it uh, desktop theme? So what I've done there is I have gone to get new themes. And I think I did a search search for transparent. Just wait for that to start up. Transparent. And then you'll get uh, all these um, different transparent um, desktop themes. So the one I've installed is, oh, why does that, oh, because that's open, is it? Okay. So what I've, uh, the one I'm running now, I believe is the Breeze Transparent Dark. So, yeah, that's already set. So you can see the apply button's grayed out. So uh, that's the one that we're running. So what that does is gives your menu a transparent blurry effect and also the panel just to I just thought I would um, do that to um, blend in with all the other blurs that's going on so um, now the um, desktop on oh, there's your right the your other right click there is the desktop one so um, you probably don't want too much blur on that. Already had that open, didn't I? So if we go back into desktop behavior, desktop effects, into blur, we'll just increase that slightly. Okay. So configure desktop. And I'm running this, uh, get new wallpapers. And this one here was from, I think, Antec Designs, this wallpaper. Uh, let's have a look at installed. Unknown open collaboration, what's going on there? I don't know. All right, okay, so it's having a bit of an error there. I don't know what's going on there. So I can't find my install ones too quickly because of that. All right, so I don't know what's going on there. There's a bit of an error there. Let's just do a search for Antec Design. Let's make sure my internet's working. Yep. Uh, maybe it needs a space in between. No. No, 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 it was all working the other day, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, so under... Um, Workspace theme and desktop theme, get new themes, and if we try installed on this one, all right. So I've just done an update before this video, 
So I think maybe something's gone wrong with the update. Either that or I need a restart, but I'm pretty sure I did restart before I started this video. But however, um, you get the gist of what I'm talking about there. Now the other thing I have done is application style, is it? Window decorations. And I downloaded some, uh, they got uh, one called Lindos, and it's got different colours there, Lindos Blue and Lindos Dark, um, Windows 10 and Windows 10 Dark. Um, so I think I'm running, no it's not that one, yes it's uh, Lindos 10 Dark Grey. That's the one I'm running. Was there a square around that before? I cannot remember. I'll have to watch the video back. <laughs> it doesn't really tell you which one is it's actually running, but I suppose you can tell by looking at it. But the difference there is this Windows 10 here has a blue um, has a blue effect around the outside and outline. Um, that's how you can tell the difference between the two. So that's how I've set up my KDE Neon. Um, and as you can see, it's running pretty well. It does run faster than this. Um, when I am recording with um, Simple Screen Recorder, it's actually running a bit slower. So, But however, I've done that. And also, if I open a couple of other windows... We'll open that, we'll open the internet. And what I've done is Alt D is uh, my desktop grid. So if I just use the key combination Alt D, that's my desktop grid. So I was trying to, or I go up the top corner, I've got that set there as well. A bit like the GNOME desktop. But uh, what I was trying to do is um, somehow get the panel to stay when the desktop grid comes up. I'm not sure how to do that. So I'm sure there is a way. If anybody knows, and you could tell me, though, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but uh, I don't know whether um, it could be done in any other settings. I think I did get it to work at one point, but I, if I did, I can't remember how I did it. Okay, so just a quick one. Um, just looking at desktop effects here, I've got, um, now I've gone to desktop effects, and in here we have um, two, two items I want to look at is present windows, and the other one is the desktop grid. So the desktop grid is the one I'm currently using. I want to set that back to default. I'm not sure uh, the default is control F8. So let's apply that and OK. So what I'm going to do is present windows. I think is a similar thing, but it has an option here to show panels. That's probably the one I did last time. And I need to change this default. Um, don't give you much room to work with there, do they? Default is control. So let's change that to Alt D. I'm really struggling to see what's going on there. Our oh, custom. Input Alt D. Okay, let's apply that. Now see if that's working. But it's not showing panels though, is it? 
Ah, oh, there we go. I forgot to do that. Show panels and apply. Okay. Okay, there we go. So that's perfect. That's what I like. That with uh, show panels. That's good. So if we are on the internet and we are YouTubing something. Now, even if uh, I don't know if it works, if I got my panels hidden or not. So let's auto hide the panel. Let's do that. Okay, so if we're playing a video. It's going to be pretty slow with the uh, with the recording going on here, I believe. So let's just turn the sound off of this. And let's go Alt D, so we can still watch our video, but it's not showing panels. Okay. So. always visible and we put that on full screen then you can see your panel when full screen okay that's how I want it to react um, besides the fact that uh, I can't get desktop uh, a workspace is showing as well but that's a good uh, compromise anyway so that's not too bad so yeah I just thought I'd uh, slip that in the video because I I just remembered what I did last time so that's my KDE Neon day two um, so far it's pretty good. I'd like to see this on the 1804 base, so I think it would run pretty well, I reckon. So um, that's probably something to look forward to, I suppose. But this, uh, so I'm um, just going to the info, last of all, info center. So this is the one that uh, I did a video about, and this is the computer that I decided to use, which is the Intel Celeron. N3060 1.6 gigahertz with 4 giga RAM so that's the computer I'm using so it's pretty lightweight uh, it's the the slackest of them all <laughs> so um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video anyway and my little look around and what I've done with it and um, if any other developments take place I'll, I'll upload another video and I'll definitely be using this for Big Daddy Linux Live on uh, this this coming weekend so hopefully that all works out well if not I'll just use one of my backup computers so I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching